Now, why are you hiding down here anyway, Pedro? <laughs> oh, you know how it is. Minor, very minor misunderstanding with the police around here, avoiding trouble. <laughs> so, Pedro Rizzo's hot stuff. Not like stolen stuff, good stuff everyone wants. 97.5% satisfaction guarantee. <laughs> All right, survivors, welcome back to Unturned 3 Early Access. Today is September 30th, 2016, and that makes it Friday, which means it's update day. And sure enough, we have a new update here. It just came out moments ago. It's version 3.17.0.0, and I am excited to show you guys what's new. In fact, we have Sergeant Smack, Sergeant Sunny Mac, waiting in the wings. He was, uh... He was actually found floating at sea in an old raft, um, dying, but he was picked up by the ship called the Liberator. It's an aircraft carrier, which was making its way over to Russia, and that's what, that's the way he was going, too, so it worked out perfectly. So they took him aboard, and uh, he's going to give us a tour of the ship. He's not awake yet, but let's go see if we can, if we can get him up. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, hi. Uh, don't I know you? I think I know you. Hold up. Hold right there. Don't move. Don't you move. Uh, okay, yes, you look familiar. All right, let me put this away. Sorry about that. Uh, oh, my gosh. Where the heck are we? Uh, soldier, get behind me. Get behind me quick. I don't know what's going on here. Um, wait a second. Wait a second. The Liberator. Oh, yeah. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, we were lost at sea. We were making our way to Russia to go find our friend Papa Smurf on a little skiff in a sank. Uh... And then we got fished out of the sea by these these people here in the Liberator. Oh, this is great. And where are we? Oh, looks like we're at Russia. Oh, yeah, Russia. Uh, that's Russia right there, that uh, light, light that lighthouse. I, I recognize it. Huh. Well, let's go uh, say hello to this fellow over here. Hello, sir. How are you? Oh, you're a pirate. <laughs> Isn't this a military craft? Why do they let you on the ship? <laughs> oh, Wallace. How are you, Wallace? Yeah, I think I remember you fishing me out of the sea with that pole right there. Yar! <laughs> Any luck? The usual small ones. I'll get that dang squid one day. Oh, the squid, yeah. I think I saw that squid out there. Do you need any help? Oh, is your leg okay? Is that a peg leg? Can I help you with something? So here we go, guys. This is a perfect example of how NPCs are going to work. This is our first quest. So Wallace here is giving us a quest called the Ultimate Fishing Rod, and Wallace needs a reinforced fishing rod to catch the elusive giant squid. He's given you a blueprint to craft it from a normal fishing rod. And here's the goal right here. Craft one upgraded fishing rod, which is a purple. Isn't that like epic? And uh, we haven't crafted one, so we have to do that. And as a reward, oh, there goes that other leg. Um, and we get plus 50 experience points and plus 5 reputation. We can accept or decline. I think I'll accept that quest. Good luck. That rod will do just the trick. Yar. Until next time, Wallace. Nice talking to you, my friend. All right. Don't let me uh, distract you from your fishing. Anything in there? No. All right, so let's check the inventory. Oh, here it is. It's a blueprint. <laughs> he really gave us a blueprint. It's a common crafting supply guide to reinforcing efficient rod for catching larger fish. We can drop it. That's about it. And if we go over here and let's see if we can see it in the crafting recipe. Oh, there it is. Sure enough. We have a new crafting recipe. It's for the upgraded fishing rod and we have everything we need with the exception of wire. Oh, Drat, I thought I had two wires on me. <laughs> we have one. Well, I'm going to have to sniff around for a wire, but you hang on there, my friend Wallace. I will, I will get that upgraded fishing pole for you, my friend. All right, let's have a look around. Let's look around on the deck of the Liberator first. This is amazing. I love it. So we can't... I can't... I can bring my gun up here on the Liberator, but because it's a safe zone, you can see down there in the left-hand corner up above my status report, it shows a shield that is uh, a safe zone. So when you enter this zone, you get closer to the Liberator, it tells you that. So I can't shoot my gun. I can't even swing my fist. I'm trying right now. Nothing. Let's go Let's go talk to this fellow over here. Oh, he looks like he's in shock. You okay, sir? This guy doesn't talk. So apparently the uh, lumberjack fellow here does not have anything to say at this point, but he will eventually, is my guess. Look at the aircraft on this thing. This is awesome. It's too bad you can't actually fly one, huh? But, oh, we have fuel reserves here. We can actually get real fuel. That's nice. So we've got all these tents over here on the deck for refugees like me, people they fish out of the water. And any other survivors that they might find is my guess. Let's head inside the Liberator and see if there's anybody else around. I love this so much. I love that we have NPCs now to mess around with. Of course, I'm going to go through all the uh, cabinets, maybe find some 
Some wire. Ooh, high level ranking officer here. Let's talk to him. Oh, it's a major, Major Len. He angrily grumbles at you. Oh, sorry to bother you, sir. Salute. <laughs> I'm with the American military, of course. I don't recognize this uniform. Who do we have over here? We have... This looks like the man in charge. You must be the captain. I'm going to talk to the captain first, okay, fella? Let's talk to this guy. Captain Sidney. Ah, hello. I heard there was someone new on board. I'm Captain Sidney, in charge of this vessel and aiding any survivors we come across. You're one of the first we've met. What's your name? My name is Sergeant Smack. I'm with the U.S. military. Pleased to meet you, Sergeant Smack. You're welcome aboard. Just keep in mind you're back in society, so don't try and pull anything illegal. We're part of an international force formed in the wake of the outbreak called the Coalition. Our mission here is to rescue as many survivors like you as possible and unite to reclaim our home. Anything to report? Uh, can I join the Coalition? <laughs> he just scratched his head. He's thinking about it. Uh, I'm sorry, but we don't recruit ensigns sight unseen. If we notice you helping out around here, there's a place for you in our ranks. However, okay. Come to think of it, we're looking for someone to help spread word of our presence here. If you're interested to give a hand, talk with my first mate, Lawrence. It's really hard to read. It's so small, this font. All right. Well, what ranks are there, sir? There are three main ranks to climb. Major, leader of a squad. Lieutenant, deputy to a major. And ensign, soldier in a squad. Beyond that are the core members of the coalition. Admiral, heads of the state strategizing our global offensive. Captain, leader of a contingent like me. Commander, right hand of a captain, like Lawrence here. Anything to report? Uh, no, sir. Pleasure to meet you, and I'm gonna go talk to your uh, right hand man, Lawrence. He must be the commander. It is Commander Lawrence. Good to have you with us. I've got a voluntary mission for you, if you'll take it. I'll take a look. And here's another quest. On air. Commander Lawrence wants to get the Russian radio towers working again to broadcast to any survivors still out there. You'll need a toolkit, which he says Natalie down at Engineering can provide. <laughs> That's so cool. So here's the goals. Get the broadcast repair kit, fix the southern broadcast tower, fix the northwestern broadcast tower, and then fix the northeastern broadcast tower. We get 75 experience. Hold on, fella. And uh, plus five reputation points. I will accept that quest, Commander. Good luck out there. With your having experience in this area already, I'm sure there won't be any complications. Actually, Lawrence, I just got here. I have no experience here at all. You picked me up out of the water. Don't you guys know what's going on in your own dang boat? Will you talk to me now, sir? No, he's still grumbling at me. <laughs> so this is great. So now we have uh, multiple NPCs here with their animations. You can see they have little idle head scratching and they wave their arms and they shuffle their feet. They turn their head to look at you. Very cool stuff indeed. All right, let us continue on up to... Oh, what the? <sighs> it's my long lost twin. Brother, <laughs> it's me, Sonny Mac. I'm your... Wait, who are you? Good morning, afternoon. Not sure which. I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> okay, you're not my you're not my brother. His name's not Chief Brian. I'm sorry. Uh, you look like someone I know, though. Do you need any help, Chief Brian? That depends. Can you keep a secret? You bet. And Chief Brian has a quest called the Secret Snack. Chief Brian is craving for a few donuts, but doesn't want to be seen to fit the police stereotype. He wants this kept on the down low. You know, hush hush. Yeah, sure, I can do that. And he wants three donuts. Three donuts, really, Brian? And he'll give us 75 experience plus five reputation. Well, guess what? It's your lucky day because I have one. Let's just keep this between the two of us. Okay, Brian. All right, goodbye, Brian. Now, guess what? I actually have a couple of donuts. And, okay, he won't accept the two donuts. I have to get all three. All right, well, I was going to give you the two. It's better than nothing. But whatever, dude. He's going to have his three donuts. So I can handle that. Okay, let's go down to engineering and see if we can find Natalie. I don't know where engineering is, but I think it's down below decks, which is over here somewhere. All right, we're going to ladder right here. Here we go. We're going down. Oh, here we go. We're below decks. Oh, I hear an engine. We've got a piece of a tank here. Oh, and a blue-haired lady. Hi. Hi, ma'am. I'm Sergeant Sonny Mac, but my friends call me Smack. You can call me Smack if you like. It's Natalie. Hello. Can I have a broadcast repair kit, please? Broadcast repair kit? That's not very specific. Do you mean like to get one of those radio towers online again? Hmm, okay. Here's a bag of some tools I expect you'll need. Hello. Goodbye. 
Give me a bag of tools. She didn't give me a bag of tools. She didn't give me anything. Natalie, you're broken. I'll come back when you're better. All right, Natalie is apparently not working properly. Look at this. We can bring a boat right up. This is awesome. <laughs> I love it. More gas down here, too. I wonder if you can take the gas. Do I, have a ga I don't have a gas can. Darn it. Oh! Oh my gosh, it's a chef! Hi. And he doesn't talk. All right, well... You're not a chef, you're like a scientist. <laughs> the scientist doesn't have anything to say to me. You look, you look like a wizard. Yeah, wizard. Okay, he's doing all the magic over here in the laboratory. Sounds good. Oh, there's an engine back here. This is the engine right here. Laundry. Oh, we got the cafeteria. Oh, here's the chef. Hi, chef. Chef Leonard. Hello. Where do you get your supplies, Leonard? Some comes from the farming and the locations we've cleared. Others are rations and what our scavengers recover. And occasionally, a visitor trades with me. For example, Wallace, the pirate on the top deck? He's been giving me fish. You seem nice. Let me know if you'd like to trade a few supplies. Awesome. So this guy trades right here. We have the little shopping cart. Yes, yes, yes. I would like to trade with you, Chef Leonard. And conveniently, he sells dough and maple syrup so that I can make one more donut. Wow. I'm going to sell you my raw bass. It's rather smelly and fishy because I've had it for days in my pocket. But there you go. So, and, and the prices here are all in um, experience. Is that all I can sell? I can sell them at MRE, but I, I kind of need it because I'm getting hungry. But now we're going to spend some experience and buy some dough and some maple syrup. Very expensive prices here. My guess is these prices will go down when we uh, gain reputation with this with the coalition. So there we go. Pleasure doing business with you, Leonard. Pleasure doing business. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Goodbye. Now I need to cook up the dough. Um, unfortunately... Well, there it is. There's my dough and my maple syrup, but he doesn't have a stove here. At least not one that's giving off real heat. Hey, what's this in my pocket? Oh, it's a campfire. <laughs> but unfortunately, I can't put it down here in the Liberator. I guess it's a fire hazard. Nope, can't do it. Actually, yeah, I've already tried this before. Um, you can't place anything on the Liberator because it's a safe zone, I suppose. You can't build there. Oh, hey, buddy, uh, you gonna eat that? I'm kind of hungry. Thanks. <laughs> Save that one for later. All right, so let's move on. Let's chat with this fella here. It's Rusty. Need any help, Rusty? Rusty wants a fresh coat of paint. Rusty thinks the Liberator's name could use some touching up since it's starting to fade. Next time you're in St. Petersburg, he's pretty sure the hardware store might still have a bit of white paint. So we have to find white paint and touch up the Liberator. We get 50 experience and plus 5 reputation if we complete that quest. All right, I will accept that. Awesome, fresh paint. Always boost morale. Yes, it does, Rusty. Hiya. No, gotta go, Rusty. I can't stay in chat. These open. These open. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at this room. It's awesome. Oh, it's like a little R&R &R room. Rest and relaxation. You can work out. You can play some chess, listen to some tunes, play some pool. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> All right, see you, Rusty. Let's go. Over oh, we go outside. Actually, I don't want to go outside. I want to explore the rest of the, uh, the Liberator. Let's go over through this hatch. Oh boy, look at all the hashes here, guys. Oh, we have a sleeping quarters for the uh, the regular um, sailors. Crew members this is what they call them, technically. What the? <gasps> P. Rizzo? P. Rizzo, is that you? Hey, dude, it's me, your old pal P. Rizzo. Is that a prison outfit? <laughs> You're such a joker. Just like the back of the shirt says, it's P. Rizzo, short for Pedro Rizzo. Go on, take a peek. Oh, sorry, right, right, I knew that, Pedro. Pedro and I go way back. We served together in uh, Desert Storm. Oh, it is, yeah, P. Rizzo, right. I'm sorry, sorry I uh, accused you. Hey, my man, say the word if you want me to hook you up. I got the best deals. Oh, he's a traitor. <laughs> All right, show me what you got. So, Pedro Rizzo's hot stuff. Not like stolen stuff, good stuff everyone wants. 97.5% satisfaction guarantee. <laughs> I love this guy. And for those of you who don't know, Pedro Rizzo is an actual roleplay character of mine. I've done several videos with him, and he's always selling um, the hottest stuff around, but not that kind of hot stuff. Anyway, so he will buy Steely Wheelies, and he'll sell stuff that he's looted from stores. 
<laughs> and things you can't get in Russia, apparently, like a baseball bat, a hockey mask, ornamental barbed wire, pumpkin, and snowball. So yeah, things that you will not find, you'll have to uh, purchase from Pedro here, because this guy can acquire anything, pretty much. All right, sorry, uh, Pedro, I don't have a Steely Wheelie, my friend. Come again, buddy. But um, I'll go hunt one down, and I'll bring it to you, okay? Now, why are you hiding down here anyway, Pedro? <laughs> oh, you know how it is. Minor, very minor misunderstanding with the police around here, avoiding trouble. <laughs> On that note, if you happen to wander by the brig, one of my other good friends, T. Rickster, is in a bit of a pickle as well. I'd appreciate it if you can give him a hand. Tell him P. Rizzo sent you. All right, P. Rizzo, we'll catch you later. Nice to see you. It's been so long. I'm glad things are working out for you in, in your life. Let's go see if we can find uh, P. Rizzo's friend. Oh! Oh, we have the medical ward here. The infirmary, right? Is that what they call it on a ship? I don't know. Hey, hey, ma'am. Do you speak? Speak English? No, she doesn't. All right. Have fun in your little medical ward. I'm looking for the brig. What's this? Oh, here's the brig! <laughs> hey, Tia Rickster! Pedro sent me. Nothing to see here. Just following the rules. P. Rizzo sent me. Oh, <laughs> he's out and about. Wait, I mean, like, yeah, he should be. I don't suppose he mentioned I'm not supposed to be in here. Either way, good to meet you, Sergeant Smack. I'm T. Rickster, short for Terry Rickster. Need any help, T. Rickster? The Great Escape. T. Rickster is supposedly wrongly imprisoned, but insists you don't ask the security team about him. He's given you a blueprint for his favorite kind of cake, and would really appreciate if you bake it for him. He can't give you much now, but says he'll pay you back later. <laughs> So if we bake T. Rickster a cake, he'll give us 10 experience. Yeah, we'll accept that, okay? Yeah, <laughs> looking forward to it. All right, hang tight. Actually, wait a second. I'm with the U.S. military. I can't be aiding and abetting a uh, known criminal. Although T. Rickster here says he's innocent. So, all right, fine. Uh, <laughs> hey, Gandalf. <laughs> all right, guys, we're back on the deck of the Liberator. The sun is now dropping down beyond the horizon. You can see it there. Slowly dropping. And, oh! That's what I wanted to show you. The lights, they come on at 2300 hours on the dot. That's so awesome. So you can turn off your headlights and you don't need night vision. We have these awesome lights right on the ship. Now let's go into the kitchen and let's uh, let's take a look at this um, this thing that we got from T. Rickster. Hey, what the? Oh, there's a cake and a steely wheelie right here. How convenient. Well, I don't think anybody would need them, right? No. They left them behind so that we could use it. So here it is. Here's the uh, upgraded cake blueprint, common crafting supply, guide to hiding a steely wheelie automobile in a cake. So now that we have all the ingredients, you can see it right here. Cake plus steely wheelie plus the blueprint that we have in our pocket means a cake makes an upgraded cake. So delicious and moist, there's a note attached. Remember not to eat this one. <laughs> Let's go give it to T. Rickster. Break him out. Oh, wait, he's down here. Okay, he's right over here by engineering and the mad wizard over there. Hey, t Rickster. Psst, I got you cake. A sight for sore eyes. I brought you a cake. So now it shows down here that we have completed the goal. We get 10 experience. Continue. Mmm, this looks tasty. Thank you. Psst, with this tool I can get into the air ducts and get my connections up again. Although I'll run them from here to avoid problems with the police. <laughs> Let me know if you need anything from the black market. The secret phrase is password. Just password? All right, password. Oh, and he sells berries. Wait, what does that say? T. Rickster's black market smuggling. Everything you should be able to buy but aren't allowed to. There's probably a good reason you're not allowed to, so don't think about it. <laughs> he doesn't buy anything from us, but he does sell, he sells berries. All right, well, I don't really want any berries, so I'll maybe, uh, maybe somebody else will come by and buy some berries from you. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks for visiting. All right, T-Rexter, gotta go now. Have a good one. Psst. You see what's behind the captain? It's a donut. Don't make a move. I'm gonna go get it. And we can give it to Chief Brian. Stay right there. I got this. Nobody sees anything. <laughs> <I got it. laughs> okay, let's go. Come on. Let's go see Chief Brian. That's three donuts. I've got your dough, uh, I mean, uh, evidence reports. Right, evidence reports. <laughs> so three donuts, there we go. We don't have to actually bake them, just give them the three donuts. Uh, 75 experience and plus five reputation. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, hey, thanks for your discretion. You're in my good books now. All right, goodbye, chief. Uh, enjoy your donuts. 
Now, and you can see your reputation right here in the inventory screen. I've got five reputation. I just got it from Chief Brian there with the donuts. And I'm a vigilante. Awesome, I'm a vigilante. I'll keep close eye on the criminals around here, sir. Salute. <laughs> Did he just salute me? Oh, no, he just scratched his head. Okay, whatever. Hey, guess what? I just found this wire. That gives us two wire. And according to my calculations and this blueprint right here, uh, that's all we need to make this upgraded fishing pole. Awesome. So let's go do it. Oh, get up. Yeah. Wallace, I can make this fishing rod. <laughs> We're going to do one final quest here, guys, and then we're going to call it quits. In fact, look what I found. Hold on. Let's go to information. We have the uh, quest panel here. Shows the number of quests that we have, that we've accepted. It's three. Fresh coat of paint, ultimate fishing rod, and on air. What happens if I click on it? Oh, if I click on it, it brings it up. Nice. Oh, Wallace knows we're here. Okay, let's let's go ahead and, and help Wallace. He just turned around. Uh, we got the fishing rod, the explosives, the nails, and two wires, and the blueprint that... He gave us, and we can make an upgraded fishing rod. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. It's amazing. It's epic. Long-range fishing generator. Reinforced to catch strong and more powerful fish. Hey, uh, uh, Wallace, let's catch that squid. Did you get him yet, Wallace? No? Okay, I think I got one. Hold on. I, 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 oh, I got something. Reel it a minute. That didn't feel like a squid, though. No, just a minnow. Sorry, pal. Anyway, here, you want this? Oh, not that. Put the gun away. Okay, yeah, let's go around and look at his face. Just don't fall in the water. Wallace! Yar! I crafted the ultimate fishing rod for you. There it is. 50 experience, 5 reputation. <laughs> that squid doesn't stand a chance now. You made the rod. I think you deserve to catch it. Let me know if you do. I've got just the thing to display it. Yar! I get to keep the rod? Oh, dude, you're the best pirate ever. I don't care what that uh, that Johnny Depp says. You're way better. Now, I wonder if there really is a squid. I don't think so. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm going to try to catch one right now. And uh, I think we're going to call it quits right here, guys. As I try to catch a squid, if I do, I will report in and let you know. Oh, wait, we got, we got one? So I hope you enjoyed this episode, and we'll see you next time. Is this the squid? You won't know until next episode. Tune in next time to see whether or not Sergeant Smack caught that squid. Just kidding. He didn't. He caught a stick. It was a pine stick, really. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. That is the end, and it's awesome to see the NPC system coming along very nicely. There's a lot more work to do, obviously. Um, but you guys should check out the changelog notes here to learn more if you like. So that's it for me. I'm done. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.